Hey guys, I'm CMA Supra, and welcome to how to avoid auto climb in really any Call of Duty game. This is just Black Ops 2 because it is the latest one at this time. So this video will actually be three parts. First is how to avoid auto climb completely when you're trying to climb over a short object such as this one. The second part will be how to reduce the amount of time you spend auto climbing in places where auto climb is forced on you because it's a tall object you're trying to climb over. The third thing is how to get through windows without auto climbing at all, such as this window, and that one which still has glass in it. So first off, how to avoid auto climb completely when you're trying to climb over a short object. Uh, normally when you go up to the object it'll say press jump key to climb over the object. So if I do that, I auto climb, but the issue is I have to put my gun away to auto climb which means I can't shoot at enemies. Now you fix that by jumping before the object. So if I just walk up to the object and jump before it, you can see I'm now on top of the object and my gun was available the entire time. So I'll show you once again, just jump before. Simple as that. It also works while sprinting. If you want to sprint and do it, uh, you just jump from farther away because uh, you don't want to get too close and accidentally auto climb, in which case you wouldn't be able to shoot. Now the second part of this video is going to be how to reduce the amount of time you spend auto climbing in places where it is forced on you, such as this object, because it is so tall that I can't get over it just by jumping, I do still have to auto climb. So normally, when you go up to the object, it'll say press jump key to climb over it, just like before. So if I do that, I get a really long auto climb. I'll show you that again. It's a really long auto climb. So the way we deal with that and reduce the amount of time we spend auto climbing here is to once again jump before the object. So if I jump before it and then I auto climb, the auto climb is much shorter than if I jump or if I don't jump before and I just do the long auto climb. So I'll show you the short one once again. Much less time than just auto climbing. Now you, there is a catch to it. You can't just jump before the object and be good to go. If I do that, I don't actually climb the object. And that is because the object is simply too high. You can't jump up to it. So what you have to do is you have to double jump. You have to uh, first jump to increase your altitude. And the second thing, or the second jump is to actually do the auto climb and get on top of the object. So I'm going to say jump every time I jump right here. So let's go jump, jump. There we go. So you, have to, you do have to time the second jump pretty well. Uh, but if you can't time it correctly, just spam the jump button, which I'm going to do right here. There we go. I just spammed the jump button until the auto climb started, and then I was good to go. It works just fine if you spam the jump button. Uh, it's just easier if you can time it correctly, and it's not too hard to time. I've I've done it successfully every time in this video, so it's obviously not too hard to time it correctly. Now, uh, that's how you get over tall objects and reduce the amount of time you spend auto climbing. The third thing I want to show you in this video is how to get through windows without auto climbing at all, such as this window, which does not have glass, and this window, which does still have glass. So first off, the one without glass. Uh, you can, or uh, normally when you go up to the window, it says press jump key to climb over, just like the two before. So I do that, but then I can't shoot while I do that because I'm auto climbing. So the way we avoid that is to jump before the window. So if I jump before the window, there we go. Simple as that. However, there is a much better way to do this than just jumping before the window. And the better way is to sprint up to the window, uh, still jump before the window though, don't auto climb, and then crouch before you're in the window, and then stand back up when you're on the other side. So I'm going to do this really quickly, and here we go. Just like that. So as you can see, I do keep a lot of forward, forward momentum when I do it that way, because I don't hit my head on the top of the window, which I, which I do normally when I'm not crouching. Um, so I'll show you that once again, and I'm able to quickly take cover here because of it compared to if I had just jumped before the window, it would take a lot longer to reach cover. So the way we do the momentum jump, I guess you can call it, is you jump before the window, and then when you're in the window, you crouch, and then when you're on the other side, you stand back up. So the keys are jump, crouch, jump. And once you get the hang of it, it is really helpful. So I'll show you once again. Jump, crouch, jump. There we go. 
I kept my momentum. I'm practically in cover here. Just had to walk a few steps. And it is really helpful. Now, uh, that's how you get through a window without glass. What if we want to get through a window that does have glass? Well, we just have to add a knife to that. And we have to time the knife quite well. It's actually a semi-difficult to time the knife, but I have it pretty well down. So it is possible to get it pretty well down. Now, let's... I'm just going to do this once, and you'll have to keep re-watching the little piece of video over and over, because this is the only window left with glass in it. I can't do those windows up there, because those are slanted, and those don't work for this. Uh, but the straight-up windows do. So here we go. There we go. So as you can see, I got through the window, I kept my forward momentum, I didn't lose any. And that's because I timed my knife perfectly so that I was just within range of knifing the glass out of the window, but I was also far enough away where the glass would be gone by the time I reached the window, and I wouldn't end up hitting the glass and just falling short of the window. That'd be pretty bad. So you just have to keep watching that little video clip over and over until you see what I did there. Uh, I can't do it again because, like I said, this is the only window left with glass in it. So that's that. So I hope you all found this informative. There's a little crouch thing again. Uh, there's something I should mention, actually, before I end this video, is, as you saw there, I was still crouched when I got through the window, and the reason for that is you can't stand up in midair after you get through the window. Uh, let me actually do this from this side. So when I'm in the window, I am crouched, but when I reach the other side of the window, I want to stand up. However, you can't stand up in midair. You have to wait until you've touched the ground. So what I do is I really just spam my jump key, and that works well enough. So once I'm through the window, I just keep pressing space. I actually did a terrible job there because I was busy, busy talking and not thinking. Uh, but yeah, you, once you're through the window, just keep pressing your jump key, and it'll be fine. That's what I do. So let me show you this once again. And I just kept spamming it there. In fact, I spammed it so much that I ended up doing two hops, but that was just for the video. It's not something I normally do when I'm playing this game. It's just for teaching you guys. So I guess that's really all there is to show in this video. So I hope you all found it informative. Hope you found it helpful, all that stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. So I have a list of three rules that you need to follow in Free For All in order to be good at it. And as I explain these rules, in the background, I have a game of free-for-all in which I got first place by a large margin because I followed these...